Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Okami. Last time, I believe, we entered Sand City, and it was all weird and green and smoggy. And we went and purchased some fishing rods and some healing goodies, and some charcoal, and some feedbacks. And we just went and purchased some stuff at that merchant back there. And I believe we were just heading to go give a man a fishing rod. Whoa, look. This entire lot is all empty and smoggy. That's weird. That's like the only spot that's cursed. <laughs> mm, the, um, the forces of evil are getting rather selective in what they curse lately. Hmm. So we gotta... Well, I guess our objective is to go get to that tornado of doom gas and greeny smoggy smoke get over there to that big cyclone of stuff but right now we need to talk to Benkei so he'll lower that bridge for us <laughs> at last the time is near Benkei the fisherman monk shall lay his claim to his 1000th sword apparently he likes swords wandering war warrior monk Benkei I have traveled far and wide challenging master swordsmen and 90, 999 swords have I claimed by my own hand. But now that I have defeated all who da would dare challenge me, that last sword has eluded me. I need but one more to make 1,000. And thus, aimlessly, I have wandered. That is, until a legend drew me to Seon City. It is said that a living sword lies in the depths of Lake Biwa. I can't remember my voice from that I did last time I recorded this, but I'll try my best. Have you heard the legend about Lake Biwa? Even I could barely believe it when I first heard. But they say a living sword swims freely about in these waters. If true, it would make a fitting addition to my 1000th sword. This bridge is a very special contraption. What about the sword on our back? It floats and has spinny golden stuff on it. That's a pretty cool sword, man. Uh, I, guess he, I guess he's really interested in the living one. I mean, that's pretty interesting, a sword that lives. With one command, I can make it passable, and another impassable. As you can see, it makes for a fine place to fish. It grieves me to cut off access to the city, but I'm afraid this bridge shall stay this way while I fish for the living sword. Of course, that may be easier said than done. Ah, oh, then let's do it. This is no more fishing trip for me. It is a true battle with the living sword. I must therefore arm myself the right weapon. That fishing rod over at the tool dealer in town would be perfect. Oh, you should see it. It is the purest of white, like new fallen snow. There is no chance of victory without that rod. Alas, it would appear that I cannot afford it. Oh, what am I to do? Hmm. Hmm? Th th that's, that's the blinding snow, the rod from the tool dealer. With that fine rod, I would at last have a chance against the living sword. Now be a good doggy and give it here. Offer blinding snow? Here, you can have it. Here, I'm going to move my camera a bit to the to the right. Excuse the um the movement. Ah, there we go. That looks good. Oh, happy day. I have never fished before, but it should not be much different than a good sword fight. Now to catch that 1,000th sword. I shall engage in mortal combat with that elusive living sword. Okay, come on. Hmm? I have been holding my rod over this water for some time now. However, the living sword has yet to bite. But you know what they say, patience is a virtue. I shall sit here as long as it takes. Yummy. Hoodhead here is never going to let us across at this rate. Time for some of that angling magic of yours. Show him how you do it. Fish that living sword out of this lake. Help catch the living sword? Sure. Ah, Hoodhead sure is handful. Is a handful. I wonder if there's really such a thing as a living sword anyway. Well, we'll just have to see by helping out Benke. I'm going to press buttons and see if I can actually hit it. Okay, Amy, you got the basic idea right. Draw a line from the tip of the pole to the fish. And I don't know exactly what fi we're fishing for, but don't let it get away. Yes, when fishing, you want to catch the fish. I think I hooked something. Okay, then, K. Go for it, hoodhead. Pull, pull. Don't let it get away. Okay, um... Now, if I remember, the, the fishing for the living sword is a little bit more challenging than what we did back in um, Agatha Forest. You caught Gobi. I mean, we're, we're fishing for a sword, not this gigantic fish that swallowed the moon. You won't get away from me. Go for it, Hoodhead. Pull, pull. Is that just the same thing? I don't know. 
Anyway, let's uh, let's, let's try to catch this fish. As you see, I'm already amazing at it. There's that fishy. You caught goby. Yep, I got a goby. That looks like it. You won't get away from me. Go for it, head head, pull, pull. Oh goodness, yeah, I remember this. This is good fun. Oh, come on, you can do it. You can do it, Ben K. Yeah, there it is. I believe it's called a cutlass fish. Y and, you know, cutlasses are swords. So it would make sense why Ben K would think it's a living sword. If I was Ben K, I mean, I might be confused. I might be like, hey, cutlass? That sounds like a sword. These cutlasses are swords. But it's a cutlass fish. It's no sword. I think Ben I think Ben K is gonna be like, What? Where's my where's my sword fish? And there it is. You caught cutlass fish, the living sword. That's pretty cool. We got a nice tune for it too. The gods be praised. At last. At last I have fulfilled my dream. Good job, Ben K. I clap for you. There you go. Dot da da dot. Dot da 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 So that is the living sword? That's why I've been pursuing all this time? Ah, don't take it so hard. I mean, that was one big cutlass fish. And a cutlass is a kind of sword, isn't it? Plus, what are the odds of catching an ocean fish in a lake? Spare me such solace. But enough about that. A monk never goes back on his word. I shall make this jigsaw bridge passable once more. And by sitting down, the bridge lifts. So I could have just sat right down and the bridge would have fixed itself. Isn't that great? Ooh, what's going on? We're getting some some cinematics. Wow, stop, Amy. I thought this mist was coming from the lake or mountains. So, what's that stuff rising from the Imperial Palace? Let's keep going, Furball. Yes, let's oh goodness, you see that you see that little picture? That's a walk ahead over there, I see. Oh, and apparently it's nighttime. And this town's even creepier at night. That's really weird. Uh, wait, what's the thing look like? Oh, it still looks pretty evil. It looks even more evil. The thing's lighting will do. Well, well, oh, that's not the right voice. Well, well, look what the cat dragged in. What took you so long, Mushery? Eck, not you again. Well, you can't fool us. We're not gonna forget what you did back at Lord Cheese Cave. And why do you keep popping up wherever we are anyway? Where, where are you up to this time? Hmm? Excuse me, but I have no time to follow you around. You see, I'm busy looking for something. Ah, some prophet you are. Shouldn't you already know where to look? Well, maybe look isn't the right word. I already know where it is. It's just, getting there is proving to be a bit of a problem. Suffice it to say, I want it quick and easy. Quick and easy? Wait a sec. Don't tell me you're behind the f this funky mist. Is this part of a plan to conquer the city and take over the world? You're always up to no good, so I wouldn't be surprised. The world? Not bad, my little bouncing friend. You're only half wrong. I seek the other world. A desire. I desire a path to the heavens. A path to the heavens? Oh, stop beating around the bush and let us know what's on your mind. <laughs> this path concerns you too, mon chéri. Huh? Oh, Waka. You and, this, you and your mysteriousness. What do you mean? Well, well, Waka's busy being mysterious. I think we'll have to continue this in the next episode of Let's Play Okami. Bye, guys.